going um wonderful word black yeah. and white yeah black and white this time um we're going to be talking about a few signings and franchise tags so let's dive in today was the deadline yeah today was the deadline and First up, Titans signed Derrick Henry to the uh, four-year deal worth $50 million, 25 and a half mil guaranteed. Was that a good deal? Probably because he probably could have gotten more. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I, when you see the four-year $50 million, it's not really a mind-blowing number. It's a realistic number. It's not McCaffrey. It, right. It's but, not McCaffrey or Zeke type money. But to me with him, he since he's been in the league, he's had – some good years, but he hasn't. Last year was his like best year he's right, ever had. Right, right. So he kind of just came into it last year. It seems yeah. like so. Mm-hmm. And with so many running backs on the market, next year so, it's going to be yeah. It's at least they yeah, signed so, him. So, so good, that, smart on them. Yeah, smart on them and smart on him because you're getting 25 million guaranteed. Yeah. And then if you stay healthy, you're getting all 50 million. Yeah. Then they so. spent 100 million for Tan Hill to handle the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that was the first one was um, Derrick Henry. And then the next one was the Chiefs and Chris Jones. This actually happened on Tuesday, I believe. Four, Monopoly money. How yeah, did that happen? Four years, $80 million, $60 million guaranteed with a potential of $5 million in incentives. So an $85 million total, if, four years, $85 million. If you watched our video last week about the Mahomes mm-hmm. deal... No, none of us thought they were signing Chris Jones. Yeah, because yeah. Mahomes was 10 years, 503 million, so 50 million a year. I didn't know if they had the money to sign this dude. The, they do at the moment, but I don't think next year. This is going to affect Kelsey, right. Tyreek Hill. Right. Some of those players, they're not going to be able to sign. The, they're so. getting a few of the big names locked in, but I, I agree with you. I think. They're going to start seeing them. Yeah, you're going to start seeing a few players walk. I don't think the Chiefs will be as powerful in a couple years as they are now. this year they'll be really good still, but after this, I'm not sure. Right, I'm right there with you. Unless they draft well, but... And the last signing that we have for you is the Browns, Miles Garrett. Whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole player. (laughs) Um, Five years, 125 mil. It makes his total value because he has two years left on his deal worth seven years, one hundred and forty-four million. That's the highest rated Brown I've ever seen. Yeah, and he, with this deal, he is now going to be the highest paid non-quarterback in the NFL. So that's a pretty unique statistic. That's probably the biggest contract for Cleveland, isn't it? He's a yeah, yeah. probably he's a hell of a player, but it's weird that you get this huge deal off the season that just happened after he got suspended. <laughs> right, but, right. I mean. I don't know. I mean, he's probably worth it in the long run. I mean, yeah, he's especially a, for Cleveland. He's I mean. a very good defensive end, so it makes sense to lock, to you know lock him into a contract. But yeah, seven years, hundred forty-four million. Who needs million. a helmet? <laughs> one hundred twenty. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, that that's it for the signing. Anything else on those three that officially got signed? I don't think so. I mean, I, like I said, the Titans. I th- I think that was a good deal for them, probably. Hmm. Um, cause I think he probably could have got more, um, Chris Jones. We'll see. I don't know. Right. See how that works. In my mind, he's really good. But when you have a team like that, I think they could have traded him away. Maybe franchise tagged mm-hmm. him and traded him or something. I don't know. Could have got a pick or two. Got two cause I, th- cause I think just signing him is going to cost you a few players in the long run. Right. Well, the, like you're saying, Kelsey uh, or uh, Hill. If they can't get those guys signed, then you might have to move off of Jones in a year or two to keep one of those guys signed. And then Miles Garrett, it's yep. a lot of money. Yep. But he's a good player, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of smart. They they signed Jones before Garrett because mm-hmm. Jones probably would have wanted more. Right, if they, if they seen that five year hundred twenty five million, <laughs> Jones would have been like, "Hey, he's probably calling him right now. Can we talk about this?" Yeah, five years hundred and ten million. <laughs> Anyways, so on to the. There's thirteen players 13. that are that remain Lucky on number. the franchise tag. That a few like the guys that we just talked about. A couple of those were on the tag. They got signed today. Was the deadline. They didn't there's get the deals thir- done. There's thirteen players that did not get deals done that they will play on the. Tag exception of maybe one. Yeah. We'll talk about that at the end. So I'll let you go through them. The Cincinnati Bengals, 
AJ Green kind of knew about this a while mm-hmm. ago. He kind of wanted out. Then there was rumors that Burrow wanted him there. And so they, so they, they tagged, tagged him. him. So yeah. they tagged him. So I honestly think after this year, he's probably going to be Yeah, there. I agree. 2021, he's going to he's gonna be out. Then Denver, Justin Simmons. It is what it is. It is Not what much it is. there. This <laughs> next one, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yannick Nicaragua, or whatever that <laughs> yeah. is. However you say we, his we name. We were trying to look at this before we, we did this, and we're like, how the hell do you say his name? Yannick Nicaragua? He wanted out. Yeah. And there was actually some trade offers. A pro Bowler was supposedly rumored. And the Jags denied it. In a package. That makes no sense. I, I, I don't understand. It, it, if doing. a player wants out, you, you should get value. You should Especially a player like that. Yeah, you shouldn't. I know the Raiders were interested a while ago. So, so. Yeah, I'm with you there. You, you need to get value out of a player that wants out. Same with A.J. Green. You're just going to let him walk after next year. I Come think on. this shows you why the Jags are the Jags. Kind of at the same bottom of the barrel. Same with Cincy. Same with Cincy. It yeah. shows you they're, they're, they, don't, they don't offload their players when the players yeah. want, on, want yeah. out. All right. Then you got the Patriots with offensive lineman Joe Thune, which is a Pro Bowl that's, player. That's a smart move. It's smart, opinion. yeah. Especially when you got Newton, you gotta, you know, mm-hmm. keep clean. Washington, uh, Brandon Scherf, their guard. There's rumors that they were looking to trade him, mm. but it never happened. So I guess he still could. But the Chargers, Hunter Henry, which I'm kind of shocked they didn't sign him. Yeah, you'd think they would have. Because he's a really good tight end. He's young. Pair him with Herbert. Yeah. Then you got the Steelers with Bud Dupree, which didn't you say there's some, I think some issues there? Some issues going on. Barrett and Dupree, they're trying to I think, get reinstated for the tag under an end. So have an outside linebacker because I think there's a, about a $2 million difference. Mm-hmm. So it's a financial thing. They're looking for that $2, two million extra. It's all about that money. <laughs> yes, it is, the NFL. Then you got the New York Giants, Leonard Williams. Then the Vikings, Anthony Harris, which we'll get into that. We'll get into that on a different video. video. Ravens. Matthew Judon. Then Tampa Bay, we talked about Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett, you just said that with Bud Dupree. They're having issues with being signed as a linebacker instead of an end. Then your Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys did not get an extension done with Dak Prescott, and we'll go into that in a separate video yeah. in detail. And then the last one is Arizona's Kenyon Drake. And this was the one I said at the beginning. This de- this um, tag is permitted to negotiate long-term throughout the season. It's the He's the only player that's allowed. Today was the deadline for all of them except his. His had some certain... Things written into it that allows him to negotiate even beyond this deadline. Yeah, which is, you think a lot more would have that right, clause. Right, something r- written in like that. But anyways, Arizonians, Arizona's Kenyan Drake. Arizona, 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 the Arizonians. Arizonians. There's, there's anyways, Ken, the Washington Kenyan, Arizonians. Kenyan Drake. So that's the last one there. A lot of players. A lot of players. T- I thought some more deals would get done, but... I did too, but um, franchise tags in general aren't that bad. They give a lot of money a for lot the of one year, but but a lot of the players that get tagged, they never seem to get big no. deals. Honestly, Cousins I think Cousins did. Cousins did twice. I mean, but but twice. a lot of other players yeah. will play the tag, and then I don't know. It just never seems. I think the one that made out probably the best on this is probably AJ Green with mm-hmm. his age. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's, Injury history. Because what, what's the, I don't even know what the wide receiver tag is, but it's probably I'd say pretty, 15 million. That's yeah, probably yeah. pretty good. I mean, what, for green? For towards the end of his year? Yeah. Was, I don't know the exact. I mean, you're looking it up right now. But yeah. But yeah. Why not? But well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I know he wanted out, but I mean, if you're going to get paid 15 million or whatever it is. Yeah. Well, here, just to kind of, here's 12 players. Dax at 31.4. Mm-hmm. AJ Green's at 17.9. Seven. There it is, 17 million. So yeah. AJ Green and Dak made out the best. Yeah. <laughs> Yannick at 17.8. Judon's at 16.8. Leonard Williams is at 16.1. Jeez. Barrett and Dupree are at 15.8. 
the Brandon was that Truth. sheriff. Mm. The fifteen. Good old Joe T. Thuny. Thuny, fourteen point eight. Okay. And you got Harris with Justin Simmons at eleven four, and then Hunter Henry is at the bottom at ten six. So that ain't bad for yeah. I mean, it's good, but when you're playing under that, you know, if you get hurt and your career's over with, you're you're screwed. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. that's the problem. But if you can stay healthy like Cousins, go and get, tag, cousins. get tagged twice. Get tagged, and, tagged twice, make a ton and then, of money. And, and then, then sign then, another then, big contract. He probably what? What do you probably get off those 20, high 20s probably? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at the time. So, he probably got, what, 50 probably million at least? 50 million guaranteed. And then, Imagine what it's going to be once Mahomes starts his deal. And if you're uh, tagging a quarterback... Jeez. Yeah, Mahomes making fifty. The next guys are making thirty. It's going to be well, like we thirty-eight, talked. forty million. I honestly think by then, I think more teams will probably try to get deals done because yep. tagging people is going to cost too much, mm-hmm. especially if you know you're not going to keep them. So, yeah. well, I think that's all we got for franchise tags so. and signings, and we'll we got some more videos. yeah, we'll, we'll see you in another video. See ya.